everyone welcome back to the channel and thank you for visiting me here by the corner i truly 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 appreciate you guys all yes thank you and thank you have i see it welcome welcome and welcome my name is truth and yeah aka rozu so yeah let's get this this is what i want to talk about today like normally in a relationship things don't go right guys yeah there's a whole lot of things that goes wrong and yeah we decide like okay since what well, this is not happening for me yeah it's time i take my l's and yeah face the other way fucking it out guys right yeah so like what do you do when things are not working out in a relationship yourself you have got to take your l's and go left right yeah you take your losses guys yeah you count your losses and then yeah you leave because stay in a relationship where it's loveless yeah it just means that one doesn't really yeah love themselves enough to see that then they are in a position where it's really not fulfilling them and yeah all you do is stress and yeah increase their stress and like yeah their illnesses and all of that where like these kind of relationships will be like in love relationships friendships and any kind of relationships even family relationships guys you know because yeah that happens a lot where like when somebody is comfortable in a relationship or in whatever kind of a ship they're in yeah they are used to this relationship where like okay this person treats me bad but should i go out of this relationship should i go out of this marriage or this family where am i gonna go they think they have got nowhere to go guys where like they can start afresh on their own right yeah they can start afresh on their own guys where like you don't have to be putting up with people who don't respect you people who don't trust you and people who really don't love you because one thing i know for sure is that when somebody loves you yeah they're gonna treat you with respect and yeah they're gonna trust what you say and yeah they're gonna love you and yeah some people are getting they are addicted to the pain which is why like yeah they are not gonna go anywhere and like they'd rather go out there and join a support group and be going out every time talking about the problems and going back to the same situation where like they mute themselves to these partners and like they don't even talk to the kids they kick the kids the pet everybody flies up off the handles and they are like nothing really works out and they be still going to these support groups thinking like oh i want to fix my relationship and all that and whatnot well the best way to fix a relationship is to like yeah remove yourself from the picture and yeah really really like detach and yeah, go heal yourself guys you know instead some people like they don't want to go out they be healing themselves and like after one relationship they go and jump into another relationship today tomorrow it's another relationship guys you know after like breaking up with somebody they love they said they love and yeah the next thing because they don't feel fulfilled in this relationship they break it up and yeah go to the next relationship where this becomes a cycle guys you know where like somebody doesn't really know what they want in life guys you know they don't know what is it that they want in life because once one has started that cycle of rebound yeah you are comparing your first relationship to the next one oh this partner took me out yeah they took me out to restaurants and yeah they treated me good and all that and that's what you're gonna want in the next relationship you get in because you have never healed you've never taken your time to heal yourself and then yeah you jump in a relationship what you do is you compare the last partner with the next partner well this goes both ways whether you're a girl or whether you're a girl yeah we have got to heal guys you know once you have healed yourself it's easy for you to manifest a new relationship you tell for the god what is it that you want 
yo for the god i want somebody who loves themselves first who has included you in in their lives yeah god should be included in a relationship guys you know and yeah then you can mention like yeah go just somebody who is a ceo or a boss you know somebody who's respectful or not an insect whatever kind of relationship you want as long as you have put god first and that this person should love themselves and yeah obviously when you're looking for somebody who loves themselves they're gonna love you the same way they are gonna invest with the same love they're giving to themselves in you guys you know and you know so now or later you have got a very very serious relationship a super tight relationship where like yeah you've got trust you've got respect and you have got love in this relationship you see what i mean and like having to go out there and be thinking oh that guy broke my heart so i'm gonna jump into this relationship maybe this guy yeah, is better than this other one because he's asked me out and i told him like yo i'm in a relationship be like okay yeah even me i was in a relationship a person is being taken from another person by another person be like that is so wrong that is so wrong guys you know you can never allow yourself to be removed from a love relationship because somebody else is offering you better out here that is not true a lot of people go by it that way and yeah which is like from rebound to rebound to rebound to rebound where like at the end of the day this person here yeah don't get to be in a serious relationship where like yeah they're always and forever gonna be fishing while they up here is how they are getting married and yeah moving on with life and all that guys you know i call that living in the first lane you know you can't be always stuck on stupid because somebody beautiful is passing by be taken by the wind you know oh it's like chicken out oh like you know what i mean that is really a sickness guys you know that is a spirit that is on someone that is making them jump from one relationship to the other from one to the other and the next and the next after that because that is really really a spirit of last guys it is a bold spirit who makes you do all of these things because you know if you love yourself you're gonna pull back and really really find it in your heart to discover what is it what is it that you have done wrong for the relationship to fail you know so you don't get to jump on some other people because people like this who always jump on from one relationship to the next they are looking for that very somebody they have wronged in the past yeah they had the best before and they forget okay since while well, you are too honest and too truthful and respectful and trusting for me i'm gonna cheat on you and once that happens yeah this person leaves the relationship yeah this guy's gonna go jumping to this relationship to the next next after that one and then so forth guys you know when i'm saying a guy guys i mean girls and guys i mean like all the collective guys you know so it'll be more like okay since well like okay i have left that boyfriend of mine or that girlfriend of mine i'm gonna go and jump on to the next relationship we'll be looking for the very same person into the next one and into the next one where you can never find the very same person who treated you good in your life and then yeah you know what i mean which is important for us to always be true to ourselves guys you know and not really be blown by the wind and always be lasting on other people's relationships guys you know because you know like a whole lot of times when a, when somebody has a good relationship yeah some people would come and throw themselves in your relationships some guys would go after your woman and yeah of course some women would go after your guys but if they know each other if they know themselves that okay i have a partner and i love myself i would know that oh these are the challenges that happen in relationships so yeah it means that i'm in a relationship so i'm gonna stick to this relationship without having to hear from anybody saying oh you're in a relationship your person this your person that 
that is their way of making you leave a good relationship to go on a rebound after rebound after rebound where like you are looking for that good person you dated first into these people you are dating where you end up getting sick guys you know i need to understand that okay i have treated you wrong so i'm gonna have to come to you and apologize and tell you like yo i'm so sorry i cheated on you you know and whatnot and yeah i would say that is a first step of healing when somebody tells you like i am sorry yeah like yeah it's the first step of healing but that doesn't mean that we have to take them back guys especially when a partner was abusive and yeah really really disrespectful and really 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 was treating you horrible which is why you can say oh back then you didn't want me now i'm hot now you are all on me like you see what i mean well like it happens guys you know if we take care of ourselves if we really love ourselves we're never gonna see ourselves in a rebound relationship where we're gonna be jumping from one person to the other because yeah you'll be thinking oh this guy came to me they love me so hey i might as well love them back where it's just last guys you know healing consists of us really like pulling back from whatever that made us uncomfortable yeah pulling back from like the people places and things that made us really really feel like they wounded us and yeah we start healing guys you know yeah like a whole lot of innocent people got hurt out there and yeah they be thinking okay since wow well, like that guy hurt me yeah i'm gonna have a relationship out there without even having to heal that previous person's relationship like that previous person's energy from that previous relationship guys you know it's important for us to heal to take some time and understand what we're going through better than going out there and be spending money on support groups guys you know healing is important for one to always when they break up from an uncomfortable and really unpleasant relationship to heal and to really, really focus on themselves and understand that what they have went through is really not their fault that some people out there were raised in families that were encouraged to be in that way guys you know some relationships in let me say some families encourage others in the relationships to cheat on their partners because they feel that that is the culture of their family if you're not gonna cheat on your partner it means you are not a part of our family but then here's the thing what if you can't cheat what if you can't cheat and yeah you will keep on staying in this relationship yeah you end up getting sick guys right yeah and you feel like okay you don't wanna pull back and heal yeah you're gonna feel like okay this is the kind of relationship i'm in i'm dating a cheater and there's nothing i can do about it where well, there is a whole lot you can do about it now you start getting sick guys you get amen ailments like high blood pressure and stress and all of that where yeah whatever that is fun for you it's not fun anymore whatever that you have enjoyed in your life it's not fun anymore guys you know where like now you have these all these negative people around you and you know what's the funny part about it you can't even have your private space your private time to really really do what you love you lose interest in everything that you love and your craft and you don't want to be working because you're depressed and yeah nothing grows in your life you get stuck it's important for us to let go of anybody who keeps us in our shadow side guys you know because if somebody can't give you a peace of mind no they can't have a peace of you they really can't guys because all you gotta have is stress and depression and yeah i suffer from ptsd all the time guys you know well we are here in this world whole guys we were born whole we don't need anybody to fill us up you know like yeah once we are in an uncomfortable situation we just have to pull back and yeah really really self-love like really really self introspect on what happened 
what was going on i promise you you're gonna realize oh that is not your fault some people are just raised like that some people are just like that like you know from hurting one person to the other hurt people hurt people guys you know where it's really not our fault that somebody else got hurt and you tried loving them and they were scared of your love yeah just pull back your energy and yeah start healing guys you know do some exercises take care of your body drink a lot of water i mean like drinking cool drinks and fizzy stuff is really, really not taking care of ourselves guys you know and you know what the devil about it all is like doing one thing over and over and over and over again expecting a different result guys you know so yeah it depends on what you want to do with your life but if you really love yourselves that much you would never want to see yourself in that position where you are in competition with other people you know the worst thing a person can go through is like yeah being compared and being put in a competition with other people whether it's a guy or a girl out there because yeah that will really kill your self-esteem and yeah that would really make you really be this person who can speak for themselves and yeah like that is really really like something guys you know that you can't really really afford to be in when you really love yourself guys you know self-love is important and yeah people should really realize that when you self-love yeah even when you get opportunities out there like being uh us being asked to be in a relationship yeah you don't got to take anybody that comes your way because they saying they love you guys you know some people just come in your life for a reason just to test if you are really really in your self-love mode guys you know imagine if you break up with somebody today and you've been self-loving for like two weeks nobody comes in your life and tell you like yo i love you and then you tell them I'm like yo i love you too and all that that is really not self-love guys you know i would say if you went out with somebody for five years yeah self-love for five years guys you know take that somebody out of your system guys you know sweat them out go to the gym do something you know know that you are important know that you are loved know that yeah you are loved by god you know get to know yourself better before you can entangle yourself into somebody else's chaos and confusion again guys you know some illusion they paint yeah it's just their own illusions because yeah you know when somebody is lying to you they basically lying to themselves guys you know so like healing is really really important healing heals us in a way that like if after you have healed like yeah you would never really really think about the partner that i've hurt you you would never really think that oh i mean a rebound relationship where like i'm always asking permission to do some things and all that where like relationships are based on partnerships guys you know if it's not a partnership well hey yeah one is a dictator and one yeah is yeah just a servant to the dictator guys you know and in 2024 really i really do not expect people to be in a relationship where like they are blinded and wearing rose color glasses where like yeah they see it but yeah it doesn't come to them to like help oh, it's time for you to go you know so that self-love is important guys you know it's really really important to put you guys first because remember we doing it for yourself not for somebody else doesn't matter if somebody tells you like yo you have lost that partner who are seeking care of you and all that no 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 nobody takes care of you you take care of yourself up to you if you want to be in that relationship or not and really really it's not a wrong thing to leave a relationship that you really don't want to be in because yeah you don't feel the love you don't feel the trust and the respect you see what i mean yeah we don't go looking for problems out there we don't go causing problems out there we're not gonna have a problem with anyone out there which is why it's important for somebody when they come to you they come correct 
or they don't come at all, guys, you know. So you don't get to be stuck and stagnant in situations where you thought it was love, only to find out, yeah, it was love. You see what I mean? That's what's happening around. People be saying like, yo, our ancestors couldn't fix this, this and that and whatnot. But yo, this is our time now here to change all of this. Because if they be talking about, hey, our ancestors didn't fix this and all that, they are wrong. They are wrong. Yesterday's times are not like today's times, guys. Things are easier now. And really, really, it's okay to be single. It's up to you if you want to be single or not. There is no pressure at all for one to be in a relationship or not. Just because your friend is in a relationship doesn't mean you ought to have to be in a relationship, cause you know. Everything happens in divine timing and yeah, everybody's got their own turn. So for me, jealousy, oh well, it's just a low vibing energy that I don't want next to me guys, you know. It's the same as hating on other people because they have beautiful relationships and all that. That's because they have invested their time, their energy, their everything in that. And that should be inspiring for us if you see somebody else in a relationship. If you see them as like, oh yeah, someday I'm going to be in love same way as they are. Or something better. You know what I mean? Yeah, there is no time to be low vibing high and being going after from one relationship to the other because of the rebound and all of that. So, hey, life is precious. For us to be second based or being put in competition with other women or other guys out there. Which is why it's important if you find out that like somebody's cheating on you. Pull back, pull back your energy, heal yourself and uh, yeah, really focus on yourself. Because yeah, the right people will come at the right time. Thing is, a whole lot of people think because you are not doing what they do you are not in the fast lane as they are they think you are missing up where well, like you really are not missing anything out there at all if you heal proper and yeah if you really really heal your emotions and not be nasty and wanna be going out there hurting other people because yeah we are hurt yes we have to heal and so before you put yourself out there when you are healed you know that you're not gonna be hurting on other people out there so, you know? and yeah we heal the world and yeah if somebody sees you in that position where you are in a loving relationship with your partner yeah we want to be like you we want to have something that you have or something better you see what i mean so yeah let's put ourselves first out there there is no competition out there all i know is that slow and steady wins the race and yeah it's our race it's our pace because everybody's on their own lane and really, there is no competition out there. For one to be put in competition with other other women or other guys, it's just absurd, guys, you know, because that you can't be compared to, oh, you are better than this other woman, or this other guy gives these other women money better than you, and all that. That is not what we're going to involve ourselves in, guys, you know. If a karmic tells you, all right, it's the order to, have to like, really leave the relationship, because that person is not healed and in the long run they are really gonna hurt you when kids are already involved in this marriage and all that and whatnot. Let's stick to ourselves and live in our authentic truth and self-love. And remember guys, if somebody didn't tell you that they love you, I love you and you remember to always be in your truth and be authentic. Peace out, namaste, and now I must go wishing you all love and light. Peace out.